Slint remains at Alistair Thorne's side, who has recovered from his wounds. He is later present when Mance Raider is executed by Stannis Baratheon for refusing to bend the knee. Janos supports Alistair Thorne during the choosing of the 998th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch and gives a speech on his behalf. When Sam stands up to speak for Jon, Janos mocks him for his relationship with Gilly, and Sam retaliates by revealing how Janos cowered in fear in the larder of Castle Black with Gilly and her baby, prompting everyone in the room to laugh at Janos while he denounces Sam's claims as lies. Jon ultimately wins the election. During a meeting, as Jon assigns missions to various Black Brothers, Janos pats Thorne on the shoulder when Jon names him First Ranger. When Jon assigns Janos to take command of the Castle of Greyguard in order to man and restore it as best he can, he takes it as an insult and rudely refuses before Jon is even finished speaking. Jon clarifies that this is an official command, not an offer, but Janos further insults Jon when asked to clarify if he is refusing direct orders, telling him that he can stick order up bastard ass. Calmly, Jon orders Janos to be taken outside and calls for his sword. At first, Janos is dragged out to the courtyard believing that this is simply a scare tactic, but he realizes his mistake when Edison Tollett forces him down onto the chopping block. Terrified, Janos begs for Jon to give him another chance, admitting that he was wrong to question him and that he has been afraid for a long time, and breaks into tears. His pleas for mercy are ultimately futile and Jon beheads Janos with Longclaw, exacting a small justice for the deceased Ned Stark, as well as the Stark guardsmen who were slaughtered in the throne room, and Robert's murdered bastard children.